Howdy y'all, welcome back to GM Outdoors. Uh, so today, we're doing another stealth camp. Gonna be camping out here behind this, uh, this old church down here. And uh, I found a nice little clear spot here. Looks like uh, some deer tracks through, quite a bit of them actually. So uh, I would say, I would say uh, we're probably gonna run into a few tonight while I'm, uh, while I'm asleep. So, uh, but that's okay. We're gonna try to hurry. Gotta beat this sun going down. I'm sure y'all saw that sunset going down. Uh, Gonna try to beat that sun, so we're gonna go ahead and get this hammock up so uh that way I can talk to y'all while I cook and not be in the pitch dark. So let's get this hammock up. So we got all that done, got the hammock up, got the under quilt up, got everything done here. Uh, this is actually a pretty nice little spot right here. Uh, kind of, It's really flat, a little open area here. Um, I'm sure there'll be a bunch of visitors in here tonight, a bunch of deer. They'll probably be aggravated at me for, for bedding down in their bedding down spot. So, uh, But anyway, it's a pretty nice little spot. There's a bunch of trees been uh, uh, been cut because there's some pretty flat, flat cuts on them. So I'm assuming they got cut, but I don't know why. Um, uh, I was gonna say because of power lines, but there's no power lines back here, so I really don't know. Uh, I really don't know why they uh, why they're cut back here. It's kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Um, but uh, anyhow, uh, I checked my thing today, and we're at 321 subscribers. So that is outstanding. You know, uh, growing. I just want my channel to grow. You know, I don't care about the whole making money part of it. I don't care about none of that. Uh, 
this is just for fun for me and i just want to share it with everybody i hope the more people that get on there the more people i can talk to and and i hope these videos stay entertaining you know um it's kind of hard to find places i've got several places picked out coming up but it's gonna make it hard uh these trees are starting to thin out if you could tell from that drone footage you know uh so i told you you know it come a bad storm uh like i said in a couple of videos that the last drone the actual drone video i did uh it come a bad storm and knocked all these trees out just like i think like it does every year uh so we got a few still hanging on uh but uh, they'll be gone in the next couple of weeks i'd imagine so i don't know uh i don't really know what uh what, what's gonna happen after these leaves start going out start, the trees start thinning out it'll be harder to hide in them you know um but we'll figure it out uh I tell you what I'm wanting to do. I'm I'm really wanting to get a uh, I'm really wanting to get a camper shell for my truck and do some uh, do some truck bed camping and some parking lots and stuff. You know, uh, I know my, my my wife's car. It's got a SUV type type thing, a tractor going up the road there. Um, but it, my wife's car is an SUV type deal there, and uh, I know I can lay the seats down in it and do some do some camping in it. You know, some stealth camping in like a parking lot somewhere or something like that. Uh, but uh, I got a few ideas coming up, you know. Uh, but I don't want to spoil them. We'll, 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 we'll let y'all watch them as they come out. So, uh, but anyhow, I got this. Uh, I wasn't able to go to the store and get me a mountain air meal or one of those other kinds of meals. So, we're going to uh, go old school and eat some uh, chunky beef stew here. Uh, yeah, beef, con beef with country vegetables. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess you could say it's beef stew. So, uh, and I'm sure it'll be just as good as the other beef stew. Maybe. I don't know. I tell you that, I tell you that was some good stuff. So I've, I've yet to have something out here on the, on my camping trip so far that, that beat that. So, uh, we're going to cook this up on the, I probably just cook it in the can, just eat it out of the can. That way I don't have to dirty nothing up and clean nothing. So, uh, and I brought my coffee with me. So I got it with me. Uh. I forgot it that last time, but uh, I ended up stopping at McDonald's or something on the way home there and got me some coffee. So, But I do have my coffee. I've got my taster's choice. I'm going to try it. I haven't tried it yet, and I've been waiting, so I'm going to try it out here um, first thing in the morning. I don't know. I might. Uh, no, I better not drink a cup. I'll be up on that. But uh, anyhow, we're going to get this cooking here. Uh, well, we still got some daylight. And uh, yeah, come along with me here. Watch, watch me cook this real fast. Went ahead and cleared me a little spot out here. <clears throat> I hope this will cook in the can. I ain't never cooked in the can like that before, but it shouldn't be. It should be all right. I'll take that paper off of it so it don't catch on fire, I guess. Probably be a smart thing to do. But, uh, a lot of people have been asking me where I got this little stove at. I mean, it's just a little Amazon special there. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing special about it. I think I give... Uh, I can't remember. Probably somewhere around twenty-five dollars or something for it. It's one of them off-brand deals, uh, but it works just as good as anything else I've ever used. Paid a lot more for it, so yeah, it just unfolds like that. You just screw it on there. It's like yeah, everybody already knows how they work, though. So we'll just we'll just kind of do it there. Real convenient, though. I'm I'm really enjoying using it. It packs down to nothing, too. I like that this can. I love that this canister. And fit down in that uh fits down in that uh that pot there makes it a whole lot easier so just turn all this off of there. That way I don't catch fire to nothing I already see it sitting on fire so it should sit right on there yeah I'm not gonna close it here Yeah, it should be all right. All right. Let that heat up for a little bit. That's a pretty easy meal there. Well, it wasn't a good idea to leave them little things, little things flipped in. So, uh, I 
but I burnt a little bit of hair off my knuckle. <laughs> I burned a little hair off my knuckle trying to flip them things around. <laughs> so, how hey, you live and you learn, I guess. So, anyhow, this ain't taking long at all to heat up. Hmm, that's already ready. Let that can cool down here a minute. Ain't that crazy. I ain't gonna grab that hot. I know it's gonna be hot. But, uh, man, that was, that was pretty quick, actually. It was real quick. It didn't take long at all right there. But, uh, anyhow, let that cool off for a few minutes. Man, this is a really nice spot. I can't believe how nice this is here. Yeah. Uh, crickets already chirping. Yeah, it's all right back here, so. It's supposed to get down to about, uh, let's see, somewhere, I think, 52 tonight, 52 or something like that. I brought my blanket with me. Um, I brought a blanket, and I got this underquilt on here. So, I, And I got my uh, my thermals on and stuff, too. So I should be pretty good to go. Uh, I It got down to 50, what was it the other night, in my last video there, 57, 58 or something like that. And I didn't even use that sleeping bag I brought. Uh, so I, I just brought that blanket and this undercoat. I was, I was good. I think I'd probably be good down to about... 45 or something probably just just like this um but uh anyways yeah i got me a new backpack so uh, i am in love with this backpack it's a 75 liter a lot more stuff i can fit in there than that other one i had um i think the other one i had was a 40 45 or 44 and a half it's an odd number 43 and a half or something like that um but yeah it's a it's a i think it's pronounced teton or teton 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 i think i can't remember but uh, I love that bag. It's made out of ripstop, which is durable material. Um, super, super nice. Uh, it's got all kinds of room, all kinds of pockets on it. I could bring everything but the kitchen sink with me now. So and I, I told my wife, you know, it, <laughs> it was funny because I told my wife, I said, babe, I've, I've got all kinds of room in this backpack. I said, heck, I said, I'm going to have to buy more stuff to fill it up. <laughs> so she just gave me that look, you know. So uh, <laughs> I got all kinds of stuff. But uh, anyhow. Uh, this is gonna be a nice night, I believe. I hope it's uh, hope it's as good as uh, good as that last night. I um, I slept good. I slept good on that last one, other than that truck waking me up. In my last video, if you ain't watched it, it's that overpass, that overpass uh, camp I did. Uh, yeah, one about one thirty or something in the morning, the dad burned truck come across the bridge using a jake brake and i come unglued I, I remember i popped up out of that hammock i come out of there flying felt like i didn't know where i because I, I was asleep i sleep was a good i thought i was at the house you know so when i woke up i was like oh man it scared me half to death but uh anyways let's see if this can still oh yeah yeah i can eat this now hold it up there at the top just had to stir it up a little bit Yeah. So, anyways, uh, a buddy of mine uh, that I work with, he put on my Facebook today. Um, he shared with me. He bought a sticker off my thing, off my uh, spread shop, off the, the online store there, and he put it in the back of his glass and he shared it with me. I'll try to throw it up here in the video. Uh, but I just want to give a shout out to uh, Chris Baker. Uh, awesome dude. Uh, thank you so much for sharing that with me. That made my day. My my wife told me. Um, she said, hey, have you checked out our Facebook? And I said, no, I ain't looked at it today, you know. Uh, I don't hardly get on there. I get on there for Marketplace, and uh, that, that's really about it, um, to post these videos, share them on there. Um, but anyway, she asked me if I'd have been on Facebook today, and I was like, no, I hadn't been on there, you know. She said, check it out real quick, you know, check it out. And I got on there, and I just that made my whole day, man, whenever you put that on there. So I really appreciate you doing that, buddy. Uh, so shout out to you. Uh, but he says he's enjoying the videos. I hope they, I hope they're entertaining. I, I enjoy making them. I love making them, and uh, uh, I just wanna, I just want the channel to grow, you know. So my goal's still 400, and we're slowly, we're slowly creeping up there, you know. So I'm, I'm tickled to death with it. But uh, just thank you all for all the wonderful comments everybody's leaving me. Uh, I talked to a couple, a uh, couple guys there the other day on, the, on the comments. It was, uh, uh, Hammock Mountain and. Um, who was the other one? I can't remember, but they were telling me that, uh, uh, you know, they were jealous of me going to Pennsylvania, you know, and I was like, oh man, uh, 
I said, I said, well, I wish you could be there. I'm sure there'll be another time we can all get together and go. You know, I wish that, I wish we could all could get together and, and meet one another there. Uh, uh, especially the world's largest Cabela's, you know, it's going to be awesome. So I'm, I'm really excited about that November 5th. So I mentioned that in my last video too. Uh, but, uh, I'll look, I'll look up on, on my, on, when I get done video on here, I'll look up, uh, look up who else I was talking to about that. And I'll, I'll mention it here in a minute. But, uh, anyhow, uh, beautiful night it's not supposed to rain or nothing so uh we should have a good night up here hopefully uh i found two great trees they're perfectly spread apart good flat hammock i'm, I'm really tickled about the spot this is nice i hope i probably wake up three o'clock morning be a big old bear in here wallowing around or something looking at me out <laughs> it's a it's just odd that this is a big spot like this so uh but anyhow we're gonna try some soup out here and i'll uh i'll kick you back on here so Man, oh man, I tell you, it don't take long for that sun to go down. But uh, anyway, let me show you some of this beef stew here. It's uh, just out of a can, you know, same old, same old. Everybody knows what that looks like. But it still is good. It's delicious. Now, I'm telling you, I think that that beef stew and that mountain air meal was better than this stuff. And that's hard to believe. This was easy to make, though, too. Heck, I didn't have to boil water. I just heated it up. It only took me like... 45 seconds. I mean, it was already done. I about burnt, about burnt some of it. I thought it'd take longer than I heat that can up. That little fire there, that little camping stove, really does a number on it. So, so that was. I was talking to Simple Outdoors and Hammock Mountain. That's who the two I was talking to that said they were jealous of coming, wanting to go to Pennsylvania. So, and uh, another shout out I want to do is I want to give uh, Lower Michigan Camping and Hiking Adventures. Uh, that dude there, he has, uh, he's, he's done, he's been great. Um, he helped me, uh, helped me get a lot of subscribers there towards in the beginning. Got my, helped me get to my first 100. And, uh, he shared my video and posted things. He said he was pushing my stuff on social media and stuff. And he's been great. Uh, so I just want to give him a quick shout out and, uh, just really appreciate everything he did for me, brother. Uh, and, uh, I wish he could come up there to Pennsylvania and we all could get together too. Uh, but. I know it's a long drive. I don't. I did. It just so happened to be I was off that day from work and off the next day, and that it just worked out perfect. Uh, so I'm gonna. I'm looking forward to it. So. Anyway, really nice night out here tonight. I can already. I'm sitting here eating real quiet, and um, the. Uh, heard a deer over there walking already so i'm telling you i think i should give up the bass fishing and start deer hunting <laughs> everywhere i go i can find a deer seems like but uh yeah they're all i can hear here's something over there walking i don't know sounds like a deer i'm gonna have to get my light out but uh Anyway, I'm going to finish up this soup here, and uh, I'll get you back on here when I get done eating there, and we'll, I might get in the hammock, yeah, I don't know, it's still kind of early still yet, probably just sit around here and relax for a few minutes, so I'll finish this soup up and holler back at you. Hey, you can see me a little bit better now, I'm still eating this soup, I got this old light old bulb, in case anybody's ever wanting to know what I'm using, it kind of gives you a natural look. But it's got a magnet on the end of it, and I stuck it to the side of my soup can there so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> so, so it's a bowl and a light at the same time, so that worked out pretty good, yeah. <laughs> mm. All righty, got all that ate up and everything, and uh, just want to sit here and relax and wait for it to get dark and just listen to nature here. One of my favorite things to do is just sit here in peace and quiet, and uh, it's nice. It's just really nice and relaxing, and I think everybody needs to have a moment at some point during the week where they just sit back and relax with no distractions, no technology, you know, just sit back and relax. Uh, seems like we're always getting caught up in everything around, you know, like I always say, we're always getting caught up in everything, technology, cell phones, everybody's on their phones, everybody's on something all the time, you know. It's just nice to get out here in the woods and just sit back and relax. So that's what we're going to do. Um, can hear them coyotes? Can y'all? I don't know if y'all can hear them coyotes or not. Yeah. 
or seems like sound like they're on the other mountainside there, on the other side of this mountain. <laughs> yeah, should be an interesting night, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> yeah. I got somebody upset over. But uh anyhow, uh I've noticed that Steve Wallace, if y'all don't know who Steve Wallace is, he does camping with Steve. He's on YouTube. I'm, I'm sure if you're watching this, more than likely you know who that is because he's, he's one of the big ones. And uh, uh, he uh, he just now started putting videos back out after taking a, after taking a moment uh, to, to grieve. And um, anyhow, I just want to say that he's still in, in our thoughts and prayers. Uh, I know, if you don't know, he just recently uh, lost his wife. Uh, I reckon they, they went to bed one night together. Uh, don't really know. I, I don't really know what happened, but, but he, he, and he made a video and, and one, he said he woke up and she didn't. So he took a, he took a long time off of, uh, making videos for YouTube and he's just now getting back out there and, and then, and doing it again after, I think he took like a eight week period or seven week period or something like that. And I can't, I cannot imagine cause my wife is my best friend. We like to do everything together. You know, we've been married eight years now and, uh. I just can't imagine. I can't imagine. But uh, anyhow, uh, he always does a step one, which is set up camp, and a step two, and he drink he drinks one of his his, his beverages of his choice. So we're gonna crack a step two for him tonight. So uh, normally I don't bring nothing with me, so but water. But we're gonna crack this for him, and uh, he's 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 in my family's thoughts and prayers, and, and I hope that that he can. This time, time will heal. So, uh, but I, I just can't imagine, can't imagine losing your wife, you know, and your best friend. Cause I reckon he, he's doing the British Columbia thing right now. And, uh, he's, uh, he bought a small camper, uh, and he's going out, going through British Columbia, I reckon. And, uh, I think him and his wife was going to do that together. And he, he's, that's what he's doing now. And he, he, I watched some of his videos, uh, the last couple he's put out, he talks about having to go a different direction because uh, there's too many memories down the road so he's going the long way around or a detour around where him and his wife didn't go together or something and and i can just i can i just can't imagine what he's having to go through right now but anyway this one's for steve so but uh anyhow hopefully uh hopefully no coyotes come in here and try to no, at me tonight, so that'd be nice. <laughs> It'd be nice if I just leave me alone for tonight. But uh anyway, earlier I mentioned getting a uh getting a trailer or not sorry, I'm sorry, not a trailer, but a camper shelf for my truck. And uh I really I I figured, you know, eight hundred dollars at most for like a really nice one. But as you you know, you can imagine, uh, everything's going up every single year. So I have found a couple of used ones for fourteen hundred dollars that weren't the same color, and I'd have to paint it. It probably cost me three hundred dollars or so for paint. Not to mention, you know, to, so I'm I might as well get a brand new one at that price because apparently they're about eighteen hundred to two thousand twenty two hundred dollars for the one I'm looking at. I know you can spend a lot more money uh, on some other ones, but I would like to get a camper shell and maybe a roof rack on top of it, and then do a rooftop a pop up tent. Uh, that would be that'd be awesome. To have that, I watched them. Um, there's people, a couple that had the same truck as I do. Um, I saw it on their YouTube. I was just, you know, because it's recommended for me, and I, I saw it, and I was like, wow, I was like, that is awesome, you know. So, because you can have all your camping gear down, down in the bottom, and then you got that ladder, and you just climb up on the roof, and the tent pops right up, and you're set up, and you can camp anywhere, you know. And that would be, that'd be awesome to have something like that. Um, so hopefully one of these days I can get me something, get me something like that. Um, but we're going to start out with a camper shell. That rooftop tent alone, I think that thing is anywhere from twelve hundred to eighteen hundred dollars. You know, depending on what you, what kind of, what route you go, it's just expensive. Everything's expensive anymore. If it's a hobby or if it's something like that, it's expensive. It don't matter what it is. And I, you know, I, I got too many hobbies, <laughs> so uh, it's just hard to hard to get everything you need and want for you know something. But uh, but you know, the thing about it is 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 and a lot of times that'll deter people from getting out here and, and, and getting into nature, getting in the mountains, you know, because it's like, oh man, if I had a, if I had a camper shell or if I had a, 
the rooftop tent, for example. You know, if I had that, well, you know, you can go out here to Walmart and buy you a thirty-dollar tent. Like I, heck, I've got one. You know, I mean, you can go out here and buy you a thirty-dollar tent and have just as much fun out here. You still be out here, do your camping thing, you know, and and uh, it's all about just getting out, just getting out. You know, and I, I, I've been wanting to do this stealth camping stuff for for years and years. I've been watching on YouTube for years. I've been watching it, you know, and um. Uh, just finally I was like, you know, let's do it. I want to get out here and do it, you know, so, uh, it, I've, I've been having a blast doing it. It's, it's something fun about it. just, not only are you camping and being out here, but you're, uh, you know, you're doing it in places you shouldn't really do it. So that kind of, that kind of makes it a little bit more fun too, you know, uh, and, and it's, heck, you know, I've lived in this area here my whole life and, um, I have, uh, in the process of trying to find places i've come across places i didn't even knew no know, know was was here you know and uh especially because I'll, I'll drive around and i'll have my drone with me all the time and i'll just pull off the side of the road and pop that drone up and, and i'll go over and check out a kind of an area and be like yeah i could i could think i could camp in there i think i could get in there and uh it's kind of you know broadened you know what i what i've seen in this in this county really uh which is kind of cool, you know, it's, uh, I didn't know a lot of this stuff was in our area, in our, in surrounding areas, you know, I found, well, I'm not going to tell you what I found, but I, I, it's going to be a future video, so, uh, uh, yeah, you have to stick around for that, stay tuned, uh, but, uh, anyway, I'm just having a lot of fun with this, and just getting out here and relaxing, it's just super, super nice, just change of pace, because it's go, go, go through the whole week, and then you get out here, I'm assuming that was a squirrel, uh, you get out here and uh, you just sit down, relax, and mind your own business. It's really nice. Uh, anyhow, I'm going to sit out here, wait on the stars to come out. It's not supposed to rain or be cloudy or nothing. And this, I got a huge opening right above, right above me here. Uh, where I can just lay here and look at the sky all night. So that's going to be really nice. This might be my, this, as of right now, this is probably my favorite place I've been to camp at on these stealth camps. So. Uh, just really, really nice spot. You hear that, hear that Cody? <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, anyhow, I'm gonna kick back here. Probably watch a few YouTube videos or something. Maybe. I might just. I'll probably just sit here to be honest with you. I'll probably just sit here and do nothing. So but that's all part of it. Doing nothing. That's the best part about it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sit here and do nothing. So. I'll kick you back on here when I get in the hammock and start to go to bed. So, all righty, y'all. I'm in here in the in here in the hammock now. Uh, just had a nice relaxing time sitting out there. I sit out there for probably an hour, just doing nothing, just just sitting there and relaxing. So uh, that was really nice. Um, got my blanket on here uh, and my underquilt, and I'm I'm pretty good and warm in here. Uh, I think it's about it's feels like it's probably about 55 or something right now so but uh i'm good and cozy in here i got my thermals on and i'm just gonna lay here and relax and some coyotes finally quit howling and carrying on out there i guess they either got what they got or they uh they either got what they were coming after or they gave up on it once so just gonna lay here and relax now and look up at the stars and just uh drift off to sleep so if, uh, like always, if anything happens, which I think I'll probably see some deer tonight, uh, it's too good of a flat spot and a lot of tracks, a lot of, a lot of, uh, flattened out grass, so, uh, I'd say they something sleeps in here, so, looks like a bunch of deer. So, I'd say I'll probably see something throughout tonight, but if, uh, if you think eventful happens, I'll kick you back on here and I'll, uh, share it with you, so, if nothing else... I'll see you first thing in the morning and drink the coffee that I remembered to bring this time. So, uh, yeah. So, good night, y'all. I'll see you in the morning. It's about 3.30 in the morning, and uh, this has been the most relaxing night's sleep I've had in a long time. I tell you, I might just come back here just to sleep. <laughs> but those coyotes, I've heard them a couple times tonight. Kind of woke me up a little bit, but they're not, they're not getting closer. They're just... Uh, they were just uh, still chasing after whatever they're over there on the other side of this hill here or the side of this mountain or whatever. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go back to sleep.
don't know if you can hear them or not, but they're over somewhere. But anyway, I'm gonna go back to bed and enjoy some of this uh, relaxing time here. This is nice. This is nice. I'll see you in the morning. Alrighty, good morning, y'all. Uh, just woke up. It's about uh, 7.45, 8 o'clock. Um, and uh, what a good night's sleep I had last night. I had one deer walk through here, but that was it. Uh, oh, man, this is nice. This is a really, really good night's sleep I had here. Best one I've had so far. Uh, really relaxing back here. I got a beautiful view. I'll, let me flip you around here and show you what I'm waking up to this morning. Yeah, clear skies. Just a nice little spot. Really, really nice spot to wake up to this morning. Uh, anyhow, though, uh, I am going to get out of here and make me some coffee. It got down... It got down about 46, 47 last night, uh, the phone said there. Um, it's a little bit colder than I thought, but I stayed pretty good and warm in this with this underquilt and this blanket. It, this underquilt makes a world of difference. If you don't have one, you need to go out and get one because they're, uh, they're great. This is the first one I've ever had. You know, I didn't even know something like this exists until, because I've always, I've done more tent camping than I have hammock camping, but when I did hammock, I was always, it was always warm, you know, so, uh, but, um, underquilt is a big thumbs up makes a big difference um but uh so i wonder how i don't know how cold i can get i don't know how cold it could get outside and me um be comfortable in this thing uh without having a big heavy duty sleeping bag you know um but 46 so far with his under quilt pretty nice so anyhow i'm gonna get out of here and make me some coffee and uh let's go <laughs> So let's get this coffee made here. It's about, I guess it is about 46 out here right now. A little colder than I thought it was going to be. I was comfortable in that hammock, I can tell you that right now. I got out of here and it got, I didn't realize how cold it was, you know. So uh, let's get some of this coffee made here. I am excited to try it out. What a beautiful morning, man, I tell you. It don't get no better than this. Mm -hmm. So I got my Taster's Choice coffee this morning. Taster's Choice. Supposed to be some kind of I don't know. It's supposed to be pretty good, so I'm gonna try it out here. It's instant coffee. And I don't to be honest, I don't think I have ever had instant coffee before. Yeah, I I don't think I've ever had it before. So Let's see if we can get this going without it. Oh, without it falling off. That first drink of water during the day is the best drink you'll have all day long. <laughs> Alrighty, let's get this water bowl.
All right, let's get this coffee going here. I think it's good enough. Okay. What a beautiful, beautiful morning it is this morning. I'll get this coffee made and I'll show you around. Take a camera around here and show you how pretty it is. Smells good. Dang, it smells real good. That mix up a little bit. I'm gonna take this back here and stir it up a bit. Yeah, there we go. Some good coffee right there. I really like that. That's pretty good. Easy to make, too. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's the first instant coffee I think I've ever had. Uh, so, that's, that's pretty good. And that's really easy. Pretty good coffee. Yeah. I got me one of these little uh, these little granola bars here, too. I'm going to eat with it. Really good. What a beautiful morning, man. I tell you, I can't get it. I can't get enough how pretty it is out here. That sun coming through the trees, it's beautiful. But, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to get camp broke down here, and head on back to the truck there, and uh, have a good relaxing day with the family, and um, just enjoy one another. And uh, I sure do appreciate each and every one of you, uh, each and every one of you coming along and commenting and watching these videos, it just tickles me to death to see everybody enjoying enjoying what I put out there. It's kind of surreal, you know. Uh, I've had people all over the world, UK and Europe and stuff, they've contacted me on the email and uh, talk about how uh, how uh, how much fun they like, how much fun they enjoy watching my channel and stuff. And that's just that's just so crazy to me to think that you know here I am, I'm just a regular old dude, and I'm out here you know, doing something I enjoy, and somebody plumb across the world is sitting in their living room watching me do it, you know, I, I just think that that's so crazy to me, but, uh, uh, I looked last night, and I think, um, I think it said 76% or something that's watching isn't subscribed to the channel, and the remainder is, is subscribed to the channel, so let's, just, if you like it kind of thing, hit that subscribe button, so that way, that way, um, I can reach out to you more, and you don't miss any of these videos, um, so yeah, just hit that subscribe button, and leave a comment, man. I, I really, really am just enjoying this so, so much watching this uh, and doing this and and hearing from y'all. So uh, uh, I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. So if uh, if you want to reach out to me and talk to me, send me pictures or whatever, uh, gmoutdoors92 at gmail.com. That's, that's how you can reach me. Uh, but I sure do appreciate every one of y'all watching. And uh, stay tuned for the next one. It'll be here shortly. Every, try to try to put them out every Wednesday. Uh, every Wednesday at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. So uh, uh, I'll catch you all on the next one. I'm going to sit here and finish drinking this coffee and enjoy this sunrise and uh, start breaking down camp. Thank you all. Have a good one.